Okay, I talked about importing loops and I talked about drawing loops, but how do I get things to keep repeating? So there's a number of different ways. So I have here just this loop file. It doesn't ma matter. All this applies to the same clips. So there's a couple different ways I could do it. First is cut, copy, paste. If I wanted to, I could click on this with the grammar command C and then hit command V and you can see here I can move it around. And I could come over here and hit command V, which is paste, move it around. I don't want to overlap it. I just want to go here and I could do, and that's cut, copy, paste. There is another way. If I go to edit, you can see here I can, there is duplicate and it'll automatically do that. If you look here, the shortcut is command D. That's super easy then. Command D, 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 D. Command Z will get rid of them. That's another way I can do that. In particular, if I just wanted to keep looping, because notice that it, when I do that command D, it instantly puts it at the end of that loop. So your loop needs to be perfectly defined. Then a third way is with repeat. Notice that's option R. And when I hit repeat, it asks, how many do you want to repeat? And if I hit nine, it'll make then make nine more loops. And that's option R. If I want eight, now it's got eight more loops. So that will now go eight times. So I've cut, copy, pasted. I've, right here, I have duplicated and I have repeat. A fourth way is option drag. So with my grabber tool, if I hold the option key, you can see it then lets me move that file elsewhere. So I could do something like this. So I could have this file come in and out where it is or where it's not. So there's four different ways you can modify the loops once they're installed.